are inverting amplifier with feedback as you can see why it is called inverting amplifier so here we are applying the input signal to the inverting terminal of the op amp inverting terminal of the op amp so and the feedback is given in shunt with respect to the input voltage so that is why it is called we are taking a sample of our the output voltage we are giving as feedback in shunt with respect to the input voltage whereas in case of voltage series the feedback voltage is applied to the input voltage in series so that is why that configuration is called voltage series feedback amplifier so whereas as you can see here the voltage feedback voltage we are applying in shunt in shunt with respect to the input voltage in shunt with respect to the input voltage so that is why it is called voltage shunt feedback amplifier and why it is called inverting amplifier means so here as you can see the external input voltage we are applying to the inverting terminal of the op amp whereas in case of voltage series feedback amplifier we are applying the input voltage to the non inverting terminal of the op amp so that is why it is called non inverting amplifier here we are applying the input external input voltage to the inverting terminal of the op amp and the feedback voltage we are giving in shunt with respect to the input voltage so that is why it is called voltage shunt in case of voltage series if you observe the diagram we are applying if you observe the diagram of voltage series so this is the diagram of voltage series or non inverting amplifier so see you see here so the differential input voltage are the feedback voltage we are giving in series with respect to the input voltage so that is why it is called voltage series whereas in this configuration in this present configuration or inverting amplifier we are giving the feedback voltage in shunt we are giving the feedback voltage in shunt with respect to the input voltage so that is why it is called inverting amplifier or voltage and feedback amplifier so first we will see the closed loop gain as in case of the non inverting amplifier as in case of non inverting amplifier so the same diagram we can redraw in this way so both the diagrams are same we can redraw the diagram in this way so the non inverting terminal we are grounding right so the voltage at the non inverting terminal is v1 and the voltage at the inverting terminal is v2 and this is the output voltage and this is the input voltage that we are applying to the inverting terminal so as you can see so we can apply we can apply kcl at this node so the input current that is flowing because of the input voltage is i in and because of the feedback voltage whatever we are applying because of that there is a, some feedback current and the current that is flowing through the op amp input terminals is represented by ib so this is the direction of the current so at this node if you apply kcl if you apply kcl at that node at that node so i in is the input current that is entering and the current that is entering into the op amp terminal and the feedback current are leaving so we can write it as or we can write it as i in according to the kcl some of the entering currents i entering current is only i in and leaving currents are if and ib so the sum of the entering currents we can leave we can write it as sum of the leaving currents right so as you know the current that is entering into the op amp input terminals is very small right so this ip this ip we can take almost zero so this i in i in we can write approximately as ip i in we can write sorry i i in we can approximately write as if if right so here what is i in i in is the current that is flowing across the resistor r1 so the voltage at this point is v2 so how we can write i in so the voltage at one end of the node is v in 
at the other end of this resistor is v2 so current is flowing in this direction so i in we can write it as v in minus v2 by r1 right so i in is flowing in this direction so i in we can write it as v in minus v2 by r1 right and similarly if if we can write it as so the current is flowing in this direction and voltage at this other end of this resistor is nothing but v not right other end of the resistor is nothing but v not so if we can write it as v2 minus v not by the resistor value is r right and we have this equation v in v not v not is nothing but a times right so output voltage is nothing but a times the differential input voltage what is differential input voltage voltage at the non inverting terminal minus voltage at the inverting terminal so v not is simply a v i d right so v i d is nothing but voltage at the in non inverting terminal minus voltage at the inverting terminal so as you can see so the voltage at the non inverting terminal or the non inverting terminal is straight away connected to the ground so v1 what is the value of v1 v1 is simply zero so from this if you substitute v1 is equal to zero v1 is equal to zero so from that if you substitute v1 is equal to zero what is the value of v2 v2 is nothing but v2 is nothing but minus v not by a minus v not by a now substitute these values of i in and i f and v2 in this equation what is i in we have i in is nothing but v in minus v2 by r1 that is equal to what is i f it is v2 minus v not by r right now in this you substitute or replace v2 with minus v not by a replace v2 with minus v not by a so it will become plus v not by a by r1 right and here also replace v2 with minus v not by a minus v not by r now you see the entire equation is converted in terms of v in the input voltage that we are applying and the output voltage we are getting across the load so what is the gain of the amplifier with feedback it is nothing but the output voltage by input voltage so this is the gain gain with feedback gain with feedback or gain of the closed loop configuration or gain of the closed loop configuration or closed loop amplifier or gain of the closed loop amplifier so if you take the terms common and if you take the ratio of v not by v in so send this v not by a to the other side and take v not common and take v not common we will get it as the final expression minus a into rf minus a into rf by r1 plus rf r1 plus rf plus a r1 a r1 so this is the exact expression exact expression if you take v not if you send this v not to the other side and take the terms common and then take the ratio of v not by v in you will get this expression so if you like the video please share like and subscribe hit the bell icon to get latest video update